accidentally deleted an important file? Don't panic and don't pay Geek Squad or expensive recovery services. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to recover deleted files on your Windows PC yourself. Fast, free, and easy. Let's get started. Welcome back to Stop Paying Geek Squad, the series where I teach you how to fix and protect your PC yourself and save a ton of money. Today you're going to learn how to recover deleted files on Windows 10 and Windows 11 without spending a dime. We've all been there. You hit delete, empty the recycle bin, and only then realize that file was important. Most people think it's gone forever or that they have to pay a shop to get it back, but you don't. I'm going to show you how to use free recovery tools on the bootable USB to scan your drive and bring your files back. This method is quick, safe, and completely free to do yourself. Before we dive in, let me give you the 10,000 foot explanation of how this all works. When you delete a file in Windows and then empty the recycle bin, the file doesn't actually vanish right away. What really happens is Windows simply marks the space on the hard drive as available for new data. The file's name and location are removed from the file table, but the actual data is still sitting there on the disk until something else overwrites it. That's why the sooner you stop using your PC after deleting something important, the better your chances of getting it back. Recovery software works by scanning the raw sectors of your hard drive, looking for traces of files that are no longer listed in the file table. It can piece together the fragments of data that haven't been overwritten yet and let you save them to a safe location. This is how we're able to recover files even after the recycle bin has been emptied, as long as the data hasn't been replaced with something new. With that quick explanation out of the way, we are ready to recover some files. For this demonstration, I have a USB flash drive. I'm just gonna open it up. As you see, there's nothing here. Let's create a new file. Just make it a text document call it secret we'll just say the Bitcoin key equals this all right better not lose that control s to save it and we'll just open it again to validate and there's our Bitcoin key okay so now I can highlight this and hit shift plus delete which will bypass the recycle bin and permanently delete the file. Yes. Just for a sanity check, we will look at the recycle bin and there's nothing in the recycle bin. All right, now I'm gonna take this flash drive and I'm gonna plug it into a PC that is already booted into the Ultimate USB version 2.1 for this demonstration. Now, do you need the Ultimate USB version 2.1 in order to recover this file? No. Is it super handy to have and easy to use? Well, is a fat dog heavy? I'll just leave it at that. All right, so this is the Ultimate USB version 2.1. If you guys haven't heard of it, check out this quick promo. If you're not familiar with the Ultimate USB version 2.1, definitely check that out. Link in the description. The product should be tagged here. This USB has everything. Over 50 bootable environments spanning across 13 categories. You've got antivirus and rescue, desktop OS, flyweights, forensics, games where you have a couple of arcades, run emulators and ROMs, hypervisors, miscellaneous tools, multi-tools, WinPE repair environments, network tools, pen testing and offensive security for all of you hacker nuts out there, privacy and security featuring Tails amongst others if you're down to go browse the dark web. Obviously do that at your own risk, but stay anonymous with an operating system like Tails included along with others on this USB. Server OS, a few different operating systems there and then I include some really nice Windows installation media all right check it out follow the series I'm going category by category I've also got a couple videos kind of highlighting the whole thing at a high level back to the show all right so there's a ton of ways we could do this we could crack open a forensic operating system really dive deep into it get the details of when it was deleted all that good stuff create forensic images but today, I just need to recover a file, so I'm going to keep it simple and jump into one of the WinPE environments. Once we open that category, we see we have a lot of options for WinPE environments. I'm going to use one of my favorites right now, the OnkTech WinPE V12. Boot it in normal mode, and I'm going to pick the full. These are all pretty lightweight, only 2 gigs of RAM. All right. The WinPE environment is loaded up. 
And right away, we see on the right, we have P-Start, a little dock here with all kinds of categories. Uh, this is an amazing WinPE environment. I'm not going to go over everything today. I've done it in other videos. But just know the OnTech WinPEs are jam-packed with amazing tools. So I'm going to go into data recovery. And here we have probably a dozen or so options. Uh, I'm familiar with Rakuva, which reminds me of like a Mortal Kombat character name for some reason. Rakuva wins fatality. Um, yeah, but I'm going to use Rakuva. I'm going to go next. And you can select the type of file for the demonstration today. I'm just going to say all files. And I'm going to say recover direct to my drive. You can create a disk image. Again, depends on your use case. You may or may not need to do that. But for today's demo, just going to recover the files directly to the disk. And I do know where the files should be located, at least what drive. So I'm going to browse for that. It's going to be this 128 flash drive here. Next. I'm not going to do a deep scan. You can try this if the initial scan does not find your files. I'm going to hit start. And boom, there it is, just that easy. So when it's green, that means the uh, files have not been overwritten. So that means you should be able to recover it very easily. So I'm gonna scroll back this way, check that file, recover. Now, most of the time you wouldn't recover to the same drive. It's not a really a big deal, but best practice is recover it to a different drive. And we'll get a little warning about that. But for today's demo, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna hit okay. This is again, where you wanna recover it to. And it says one file has been restored. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually see that file. And there it is. And we have our Bitcoin key. So we didn't lose our millions and millions of dollars. That's great. All right. So this is the WinPE live environment. Just to validate, I'm going to pop that flash drive out, pop it back into my Windows environment here, and make sure that we can access that file. So I'm popping out the USB. I'm going to switch my video source here, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop in the USB drive. Here it is. Make sure we can get to the file. I see it. And voila, there's our Bitcoin key. Don't even try, guys. Don't try to steal my Bitcoin. And that's it. Your files are back, and you didn't spend an arm and a leg getting them. And just like that, the files you thought were gone are back where you can use them. No expensive recovery service required. Today, we demonstrated Recuva. But there are several other great free recovery tools out there, and each one has its strengths. Here are a few worth knowing about. Number one, Recuva. Simple, lightweight, and easy for beginners. It can recover files from hard drives, memory cards, and USB sticks. Number two, PhotoRec. Despite the name, it recovers far more than just photos. It's powerful, open source, and works on just about any file type. Number three, Test Disk, another open source tool that's more advanced. It can even rebuild lost partitions, which makes it a lifesaver if your whole drive seems to disappear. Number four, Windows File Recovery. This is Microsoft's own command line tool, available free from the Microsoft Store. It's not very user friendly, but it works directly with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And here's the best part. All of these tools are already included on my Ultimate USB V2.1. That way you don't have to hunt them down or install anything. You just boot from the USB and start recovering your files. This is why I created my Ultimate USB. One stick with all the tools you need to fix and protect your PC yourself. The link is below if you want to grab one. Always use data recovery tools responsibly and remember, the sooner you run them after deletion, the better your chances of success. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe for more episodes of Stop Paying Geek Squad. Coming up, we'll cover fixing boot errors, upgrading Windows yourself, and more. See you in the next video.